Hello everybody, Soggy Fire here. Welcome to Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Um This game uh, is really 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 good. And I don't know, I'm not really a Dragon Ball fan, but I I've, I've watched Dragon Ball in the past, I liked it and um, I appreciate it for what it is. But this actually this game right here changed my a lot of my opinions of Dragon Ball games. I played Dragon Ball games in the past on the PlayStation, uh, Budokai and uh, Battle of Z, which sucked in my opinion. It was too short and it lacked something. It lacked content basically. But um, this game right here made up for it. Uh, right now I'm running around in offline mode because uh, the Xenoverse, I mean, not, uh, yeah, the Xenoverse server or whatever is having problems. So that's why. Uh, it's not stable or something, so that's why I'm running around in um, single, like, single lobby, lobby, they call it. Um, so, apparently these guys right here, these guys in gold names, they are um, other player characters that have been uh, created and they copied it, they stuck it into uh, your single player game. These things are just like NPCs, they're, they're uh, AI controlled player created characters. So, yeah. Um. Wow. Oh, that's another thing. Why are girls in this game, like female characters in this game, half the size of guys? Look at this. I mean, there is a height slider and everything, but if you if you actually play the game and you see the create a uh, create a uh, character. The girls are actually, they start out that small. I think this guy made them a little bit smaller, but they started out really small. It doesn't make sense. It makes me wonder if, um, if, that, if they were that short in the actual show. I don't remember. So you can make all types of characters. All, all There's like, uh, I think, five different races. There's humans, Saiyan, uh, Majin. Um, Namek and what was the last one? I forgot what the last one was. Oh, Frieza, like Frieza race. I don't know what that is, but you you kind of you look like Frieza. All right, so basically, it, this is kind of like a like a pseudo MMO. I mean, there is a there is a multiplayer lobby. And where you where you connect, and then you can go and uh, play with other people, do quests, or fight each other, like three v threes, or just keep doing quests and getting items, money. See, because you can customize your character. Like you you unlock these clothes uh, things as you play the game, as you progress. You know you can you can dress yourself to look like uh, a certain character or whatever. And in the missions, uh, the at least the they call them parallel quests. You can play as any of the you know famous, I should say, mainstream or famous whatever uh, Dragon Ball characters. And um, or you can play as your your guy and try to make him stronger. I'm only level 38 right now, and uh, there's a world tournament over there. And yeah, my guy looks like this because I don't know. I just thought he looked cool. I could just change it. I mean, I know there's stats and stuff. Oh, here we go. That's what I was looking for. So look, here's Piccolo, right? And that little symbol next to him, um, you can make him your master. And he can train you his, like, super attack or whatever. It's like the special beam cannon, I think. He'll, he'll train you and stuff. For, I don't have a master right now. I'm still looking on who's who can potentially be uh, your master. I've seen um, Captain Ginyu. I've seen Cell. I've seen... Uh, who else? Krillin. So I'm just gonna see who all the potential masters are. There's probably a list online that I could check, but I don't know. I'd rather be surprised. So let's go ahead and get to the action. So these are the offline parallel quests. They're basically um, they're basically like uh, you you play through a story. I'll get to that after I show you guys this. So you play through the story, and um, these are like, like a, a replay of those missions. And what you try to do is, uh, you know, you get 
the S rank or Z rank. I think the Z rank is the highest. Um, as you can see, you get rewards. You, you unlock moves for your creative character. Like, see, Super Vegeta, Chain of Structural, Destructo, Disparage. You get to unlock those for your character and use them yourself. But you need, to, I don't know, I really don't know how the unlock works. I don't know if it's completely random or you have to do a certain uh, combo or move on the guy or what. I was learning moves like crazy when I was doing this. Yeah, I learned those moves that are grayed out. I, I got Super Saiyan, I, I learned all that. But I don't know how to learn uh, learn these. I want to learn, say, Super Vegeta, but I don't know what to do to get it. But I'm not going for that right now. I'm going to go for something else real quick. Oh no no no! Oh well, I didn't mean to pick this one. Yeah, I could cancel it. Good. Yeah, put me back here. No. All right. So, I actually want to learn. Uh, see, Super Saiyan 2, but this I got a C on this because this game gets really hard of, around these missions. Like, the game's challenging factor I guess goes straight up and you can see in my grades they start dropping like crazy so so yeah, you can unlock like you can unlock the characters the costumes or clothes you you unlock pieces of them as you do the mission you keep fighting them and you farm their clothes apparently and you can dress like them and get their stats or something because your clothes have stats and it just depends on your playstyle where you like to uh, you know, use striking attacks or you want to use blasts all day, it's up to you and you build your guy according to that. There's also an attribute system too. I'll, sh I'll get to that in a moment. But, um, I'm trying to find a mission where it gives me... Wow, where is that mission? There you go. Times 20 Kaoken and Masenko. I want that. So clear with Vegeta's health over 50% and defeat revive Goku. Let's see if I can learn that KO can times 20. Cause it seems to be useful, I don't know. Alright, so here's all the characters that you uh you basically unlock them as you play through the main story and you know you fight them and then now you can use them and on your team. You have two other people as you can see on the left there, or three people. Like, like, you can play as anybody in this mode. This is not the story mode, this is just the offline um, or parallel quest mode. And you can play as anyone you want, any of your favorite characters that you've seen. They got all the forms here, or most of them. So, yeah. So, I'm gonna actually solo this because I think that's what you need to do to, uh, to unlock stuff. Oh, my game is in Japanese, by the way, because they sound better. Because I listen, I listen to uh, the English voices, and they're like, I don't know, some of them feel out of place. Like the character should not be, uh, should not have that voice. But it's kind of what we grew up with. Some of those voices are accurate. Really, Gohan, you want to fight? I gotta kill Krillin first. Damn, I missed that. That's totally really easy to do. And it's really easy to fight. I like how the buttons aren't really spread out and you're able to use your mouse to attack like this. Le left click is to just do regular attack, right click is to um, do like stronger, like strong attack. And you just combo off that. Boom! See that combo? Go Gohan don't mess with me. Then I'm gonna be a crash him. Oh, I hit that though. Oh well. So I got an equipment for that. I wonder what I got. But I need to learn skills. Alright, you wanna fight? You wanna fight? Give me a second. Uh, what? Did you stop? What the fuck? Ah! He's 
drive away while I'm doing the utility over there. Uh, suck on it. Now I'll do it. Boom! No, no, not the energy yet. The energy bar is the yellow bar on the top left. You see, rising every time you attack. Oh, crap, I missed. So I'm gonna energy charge myself. Ow! Really? Get out of here. Uh oh. What's he gonna do? K.O. Ken. Alright, I'm gonna do it that way. Give me a second, give me a second. Super Saiyan! In Super Saiyan mode, well, you get to use your attacks anytime you want. It, do it, doesn't, it costs like no energy. You just keep doing super attacks and, uh, and all that. Oh crap, so you can basically fight forever. Oh my god. Ugh. Get out of here. Dang, I missed that again. Oh, why would I click that way? Come on. Alright, I'm about to run out of energy soon. So yep, go back, go back to so I guess I'm guessing the more the more key you have, uh the the longer you stay in super saiyan. No, no command man for, for you. Dang. No, lay off the G. Uh, how'd I get caught then? Oh my god. I'm gonna, I'm gonna heal myself. Come on. Don't die, Vegeta. Why can't I attack that guy? Oh my god. Vegeta's gonna die. I'm gonna fail this person. Yep. I hate it when the enemy completely ignores you and just kills the weaker uh, NPC because... See, I got a D rank. So I, and I didn't learn any skill, but I did get an item. Oh, I got a soul. I don't need that. So yeah, that was, uh, that was that. That was a parallel mission. I couldn't beat him in time because, uh, he just, he just went straight for Vegeta and killed him. I hate those missions where you have to protect, uh, protect, uh, NPCs and they're, like, almost completely useless and they're really weak all of a sudden. But then when you're fighting against them, they just destroy you outright. See, there's Krillin, you can have him as a master. No, Krillin is a master. Yeah. So, I'm gonna go into this area, which is where the main story is. See, Trunks is basically your best buddy here, who gives you all the, um, all the main quests, all the... He's like the protagonist, just like you. So you're trying to help him fix time. And there's uh, the Supreme Kai of Time, who's basically a little girl, and uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'm not reading this. Just wanna work on your. Oh, so that's what happened. So, she employed him because he screwed up time when he went back to stop the androids or something. Huh. Interesting, interesting. Um, I'm actually not going to, uh, do the main story. You guys can, um, see for yourself if you want to pick up this game. And, uh, I'm waiting for my friend to catch up to me. That's the thing. And then that we can co-op in this, we can do missions together and stuff. I'm just waiting for him to catch up. It takes him a long time, it's not my fault. So, 
I guess uh, we'll do one more. We'll do uh, one more parallel mission. Oh, I've seen Vegeta. I think Vegeta could be your master too. I've seen him. Oh, if you guys wanted to do like a, this is the online one. If you want to play with real players and have them on your team. I don't know if it's better that way, you get better drops, I have no idea. I haven't really tried online yet. I did go into the, the online lobby, there was a lot of people running around, it was funny. But I, I, there seems to be problems with me connecting to Xenoverse, whatever, so, um, yeah. I'll get to that whenever I get to that. So that was only a 2 star, and I somehow failed it, that's how weak my guy is. I thought I was strong, cause you see all these, you see all these S ranks and stuff. You see, you see like S S S Z Z Z Z. Why did I have a B right here? Oh, I hate this mission. I'm not gonna fight no Cybermen. It's a very war suck, anyways. So, let's see what we need to unlock. Instant transmission would be great. Super Saiyan 2 would be great, but I, I just I completed this mission right here. It's really really difficult. I actually needed to put two AI with me to uh, beat it. It's too it was too insane. Bomber DX Sunday Saturday crash. Man, I fought the android to see what was up. I wanted to uh, learn one of the skills, but I got the I got the one that I didn't. five-star quest. You have to fight Rolling Bullet, whatever that is. Super Drain. Yeah, this is just, uh, I don't know why, like, didn't the Android Saga happen before the Cell Saga? I don't know why they made it backwards in this one. They, they had, they had you fight Cell first, then the Androids. I don't know. Maybe it has something to do with the story. Oh, I'm just trying to find that game. I really want that Super Saiyan 2, but eh. all right, all right, I'll do it. I'll show you guys how difficult this game gets at this point right here. And if your guy's not strong like mine, I mean, uh, yeah. yeah, if if you're not strong, I'm not strong. You are gonna get destroyed in this mission. I'll try to solo it and see what happens. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this time to uh, power up because Hercule can't really do much to me. He can just annoy you by punching. He does like no damage to me. Get out of here! Here we go. Oh no, why did I stop all of a sudden? Super Saiyan! Super Saiyan ain't helping me, cause I'm just getting my ass beat. Oh, you can probably hear me clicking ears, dude. So I'm trying to, uh... Fight these guys. And I miss completely. Just about to run out of Super Saiyan. So let me do this real quick. Ugh, freeze! Ugh, I got one. Alright, Tian, you want some of this? Oh, really? Why? Why? So weak. Get out of here. Block me. Okay, I guess because I want to die first. Oh, I can't even beat my raccoon kick. I want that attack bonus that I gave. I can't do nothing. Freeze for a second. Wow. I'm about to die, so I gotta heal myself. 
And this is only the first group. You guys don't see the second group. Wait, wait till I get to the second group. If I even get there. Okay, I guess I'll go Super Saiyan again. My friend is gonna die if I hit him with this. Yeah, 1v1, you ain't nothing, huh? Come on. You ain't nothing, 1v1. Get out of here. Alright, now here's where the freaking. This is where the bull happens. Watch what's gonna happen. Look at this. I can't even do anything. Uh, I got a few hits in. I can't even block because there's like. Two people attacking me with crazy supers and stuff. Come on, come on. I got you. I got you. Uh, ice. Get out of here, Vegeta. God damn, I hate when I attack and then I go past the guy and he just gets some free hits from me after that. I can't do it. I can't, I can't do this. They're just too freaking crazy. I'm gonna lose. Get out of here. <laughs> See, I can't do that. I can't do this. I had to do it with two with, uh, two AI helping me, and they barely even helped. They died a lot, and I had to keep reviving them. That's how crazy this uh, this game gets after a while. So you earn XP right there, and you saw I earned XP, and uh, I got some experience points you level up then you go to customize boost attributes you can boost your attributes see I put mine up to basic attack I don't know if that was a good idea and I put mine key blast supers but I'm using gear that knocks down my key blast supers so I'm really weak so I'm probably gonna have to switch up my uh, my skills and try to figure out I mean I have to sack I like this look right here I'm, I'm sporting but uh, I'm gonna have to uh, sacrifice all that for, I guess, performance. So I'm gonna look like a complete idiot or noob or whatever, or look stupid because you, you have to like mix and match clothes. I got to build towards a uh, what you call it, blast, uh, blast power or whatever. But yeah, this game is uh, a very, very good game for what it is, and um, I'm just waiting for my friend to. Uh, get up to basically where I am and we can probably do that mission better and I'll probably do a lot better. I still don't know how to unlock stuff. I, I think it's just completely random. So, I don't know. Anyways, good game. Uh, thank you for watching and yeah, see you next time.